Check yourself for you wreck yourself. Back here last time, we got smoked by something. So I don't know, maybe we'll investigate it today, but I'm gonna be trying something a little different. I got given some lures Perfect. the other day, so I might just give that a go today. The young kid gave me some gulps because he didn't want to throw them away. So we're gonna do him and those lures justice. Let's try to catch some fish. You know, why not? Why not? Let's just do it. All right, I'm gonna bring out the medium gear now. NRX Stella 2500. I just had a quick flick with this big lure, but we're gonna get started and uh, try something else. Okay, well, let's just put this away. Think first, I thought I'd throw around that lure that got me smoked last time. My backside is still sore thinking about it. I'm gonna see if we can get that fish that smoked us. I got the medium gear today. I stepped it up a little bit. I can't step it up too much because I don't think they'll hit it. Oh, that was a little hit there, but I struck with all my might there. Wow. It was only a little hit, but in this current, I didn't trust it. I just wanted to go as hard as I could. Look at that. Bit of a tail nip. It just came all the way around. Clipped on the end of the jig head. We got decent drag. And by decent, that's pretty heavy. I should be able to turn any fish if I get the jump on it, at least for a second. I don't know about once it picks up momentum though on the run. All right, we'll come back to this lure later. Let's move on to the kids lure. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these gulps. Gold baby shrimp nuclear chicken. I got given this packet of wharf at the end of the session, so I might as well use it instead of, instead of it going to waste. There we go, crack that open. Not that it wasn't already opened. Let's do the smell test. Oh yeah, vinegary. Threading that on the gulp shrimp. Get, let's get that straight. That's all right. Oh yeah. All right, here we go, the gulp shrimp. Step up to the plate, let's go for that cast. First cast here. Flip open the bail arm. Plonk that out there. Man, let me tell you something about gulps. It's like you put your hand in the cookie jar, you get one out, and then you go back and you get a second one. That's what it feels like when you got gulps on. They're so overpowered, mate. They're so effective that sometimes it blurs a line between a bait and a lure. In fact, even if you dead stick these lures, they'll still get hit. That's how crazy it is. What do you reckon? How do you see gulps, guys? Treat them like bait or treat them like a lure? Let me know in the comments while I go for this next cast. Yep, yep, we've got something there. Oh. Wrap me already, I think. What do you think? We got eight pounds here. This is not good. This is so not good. We're recording. Yeah, we're recording. Oh, it's got to be a trevally or something. It's just gone way too hard. Maybe foul hooked. What's going on? Oh, it's completely foul hooked. Look at that. Look at that. That fought really hard, man. I thought it was on a snag. Tailhook Trevally, that's a first, I think. Bruh. On the scoots, I think. Whoa, oh, go the bait lure, look at that. Right there, right where that tough bit is, that little scoot. Jeez, it's not even a big one. It went pretty hard on the, on the crazy gear. Medium gear, I mean, not crazy gear. Looks like a job for pliers here. Pop goes the weasel. We'll make sure he hits the water. That's why I always love it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, oh, dropped a good fish there. Drop one. No way, fellas. If that's not the surest sign of a fish, I don't know what is. It took my plastic. Bugger. <laughs> oh, yeah, wound onto that. Whoa. Straight away, man. What's going on there? What's going on there? No way. Oh, thought that was a little key for a second. <laughs> it's just a little tailor, man. My gosh. I really thought it was something else for a second. They got the hearts beat skipping. Sometimes you just can't get away from them. Let's trade. Give back the hook and I'll give you your freedom. 
How's that? Boop. There it is. They throw me into the water. Just a gentle lob. Oh. Yes, perfect. Oh, yep. All right. Looks like we're on here. Oh. Wonder what it is. Oh, it's a flatty. It's a flatty. 50 somersaults later, upside down. Look at that. What I did was I used the gulp, gulp shrimp. Look at that. Notice the tail, it's gone because I ripped it off because it was bent, but it still worked. Let's get that pop. There he goes. Boop. There it is. I had the wrong focus on the camera. Throw him back. G'day guys, this is day three. I'm back again once more. We'll give it one more red hot go. Well, what's that? What was that? What was out there? Oh, that was a little hit. There's something out in that distance there. I just caught the glim a glimpse of the remnants of a splash. I'm just scanning the water with my eyes. I've got my ears pricked listening for anything. There we go, that was a hit, another hit. This time I didn't strike hard because I have been expecting a repeat of what happened. There we go, that's a, oh, I pulled the hook on that. I struck true there. Wow, not good. Very unlucky there. A few moments later. Yeah, better fan these car sale before it's too late. All I've been do oh we're on yes wow that's good fight there good little fight Whoa Wow Oh no done me Oh no What's going on? Hey, sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. <sighs> this is what happens you got too much drag on, you bring them in too quick and they rub you. That's what happened there. Severed. I reckon it was a Trevally. I reckon Trevally do that sort of thing. All right, look at what we have here. Uncover, one eighth ounce, I'm going light. And with the medium gear. So this is what I call wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> Whatever hits this is gonna be in for the surprise of their life because they ain't getting me now. There's no way that they're getting me now. They have to be extra sized, oversized to get me on the Stella and the NRX. It's game over. We ain't playing, son. We ain't playing. <laughs> this might be a little bit hard for me to work this because it's on the lighter side now for my medium gear. And it's just, I've got a little bit more finesse with the light gear, but like I said, this is wolf in sheep's clothing. If they mistake this, they're coming in. They're going to get dragged up off the bottom. Doesn't matter how big they are. Well, actually it does, like I said. <laughs> They've got to be extra sized to get me now. Yep, so I'm going to have to adjust my technique to make it a little bit more finesse. This rod is super stiff, so it's going to be very jaggedy action. Very sharp action, and I want to mellow it. probably just want to be around this area where it's eddying around. and Not so you wouldn't get any inside. Oh, that was it. Yep, good hook up on the medium rod. It's a lot of pressure, but it ain't pulling enough. I don't think it can't be pulling enough. Not when I've got my NRX. There we go. Look at that beating on the top there. Look at that. Trevally. Trevally, guys. Yes. Woo. That's it. It's good to have gone back to the car to get the medium gear. Made a difference. Oh, mate, it's such a different fight when you lock up. They feel about 10 times bigger than they are, man. Let's get that pop. There it is. Throw it out here. A wolf in sheep's clothing or whisk. That's what I'm gonna call it. We got this one via whisk. Where did it go? I think he swam in. I, my eyes deceived me. Did he swim in? Anyway, he's gone. He's good. <laughs> 